Hey there. I want to show you the modular fiddle. This will be a good introduction to the modular fiddle. So these are all modular fiddles. We have a bunch of them here. And when it started about three, three and a half years ago, the modular fiddle was just a four string violin, it's 3D printed, um, and the parts were modular. So I, I went with modular parts because I had no idea really how to make a violin. So I needed to change the parts frequently to get something that worked. Also, in my previous experience making the FF fiddle, which is an electric violin, um, everybody wanted different things. Folks wanted different tuners, different chin rest, whatever. Uh, so what's a better way to solve that than to go modular? So, hence the modular fiddle. Now, a standard violin is modular to a degree. You can change the bridge, you can change the tailpiece. Um, the same things are true with the modular fiddle, but what we introduce here is modularity for the body, for the neck, and for the peg box. And these three parts are all joined with dovetail joints. Um, most necks print as one part, but as the necks get longer, that's starting to change. So this one's actually printed in two and bolted together. And the body, all bodies are printed in one part currently. Um, again, that could change, but for now, the body's one part, the neck is mostly one part, and the peg box as well is one printed part. There are a lot of different options. So this peg box has traditional wooden friction pegs. They work okay. You could use geared planetary pegs, which work great. Uh, my favorite, though, because they're super easy to set up, are actually... Uh, these guitar style peg boxes, which are using geared ukulele machines. The machines are about 20, 25 bucks. Uh, and I, I love the style that it gives. So let's talk a little bit. Those are peg boxes. So you've got some different peg box options. Let's talk a little bit about body options. So as you can see here, we have our standard body, which looks something like this. We have a solid body electric, which you can see here. And this one here is using a, an inexpensive uh, pickup system, the CV210E, uh, which you can get off of Alibaba. Also, I sell kits, so you don't have to go through the, um, the potential ordeal that ordering on Alibaba might be, or AliExpress. And then third body, here we go. This is acoustic electric. So what I love about this is you get decent acoustic performance and you can plug in if you need to. What's great too, so, so a lot of folks ask like, why are the bodies black? The reason is what works best acoustically is to use this, this PLA, which is a type of plastic made from, it's corn based, to use PLA with little tiny pieces of carbon fiber chopped up in it. Now the sad news is with that, you get good sound, that's great. But the sad news is you can only get in shades of gray or black, which is eh, less than ideal. So if you see a black body, it's because I'm trying to get the best sound that I can. Um, for something like an acoustic electric, I can do whatever I want, more or less. And, you know, the acoustics suffer a little bit, and I'm okay with that. Another body variation I've just finished, this might look pretty similar, but you can see some subtle lines on the body. This is actually, it's carbon fiber, high temperature PLA, which has been put in the oven and allowed to soften and then cool and harden. And what that does is it gives it a much higher temperature resistance. So most of these fiddles, if you put them out in the sun on a warm day, you've got like five, 10 minutes tops if it's just sitting there before it, everything warps and is ruined forever. Now you can always change out the parts, it's modular, but this violin, all the parts, have been heat treated in the oven and you can do anything, like you can leave it anywhere. I've left it in my car on a Portland summer day, it's gotten up to like 140 uh, Fahrenheit and it, it's, it's great, it's fine. So I love it, I finally got that process dialed in. So that's kind of the fourth body option. And then there are also some random kind of style changes, we've got lightning bolts which are awesome. Um, oh, this. Uh, Viola the Gamba has more traditional Gamba sound holes. So then let's do a quick overview of the other variations. So those are the different body styles. Any of these body styles can be used on any neck. 
and pretty much any peg box. So there's a lot of interchangeability between all these different parts. And it means that knowing what parts to print can be really difficult. So I've, I've recently set things up so that you can purchase a kit on my website that'll give you the purchase parts, the off the shelf parts. And then if you want to print your own parts, I will send you the files that match exactly the purchase parts in the kit. So that way, folks don't have to worry too much about which peg box is it, because there are a lot of options. If you want to as well, I can give you a kit of the printed parts. Uh, I also offer to build the instrument. So on my website are all the kits, that assembly labor, and also any um, uh, instruments that I've built that are available. So check that out. I definitely recommend starting with a kit. So other variations. Now, at first it was just the four string. I pretty quickly built up a five string. Um, don't have my original five string. You know, here it is actually, this is my first five string. Still love the colors. So five string's great. It gives you that out of tune to low C. Nowadays though, I've gone kind of next level with it. So this is a, another recent creation. And what this is, it's a five string viola, I suppose, violin, string instrument. And it's got the low C, but it also has the high E. And it's not a 330 millimeter violin string length, it's actually 360, which is like a medium viola string length. Ah, violas. I also make violas, don't have any here, but that's available as a kit option. So, this thing's awesome because that you really need the extra string length to get decent sound out of the C string. And then, you know, the high E is a little tricky with that long string, but it, it works pretty well. So that's a five string option. There's also a longer option if you're ridiculously tall and have very large hands. Um, I can manage that. It's actually my favorite instrument at the moment. Um, it's not too much of a stretch and my hands are not large. So five string is one variation. Another is the Hardanger fiddle. This is the second variation I made. And what this has, it has traditional out of tune Hardanger gut and steel strings. And then underneath, underneath the playing strings are sympathetic strings that vibrate um, when excited by the playing strings. This is a traditional Norwegian instrument. They're super fun to noodle around on and play. But this particular instrument has been, I'm just looking to make sure nothing broke. It's been under tension, full tension for, oh gosh, almost three years now. And it's, it's doing just fine. Um, so one question I get a lot is how long do these last? Surely a plastic instrument, you know, naturally won't last very long and I get that. And I also have the same question. The answer is I don't totally know, but what I can say is that based on my experience and the instruments that I've built thus far, you can get several years no problem. I have not found the limit of when these instruments expire. And if something does wear out, again, so sometimes a tailpiece will break, especially on a Hardanger fiddle, you can print another one, or I'll send you another one. So it's really that modularity just, it really gives you a lot. Okay, other variations. Another recent variation is this viola da gamba. This is a treble viol. It has, it's tuned in uh, 415. Uh, it's a Baroque instrument. It has a, a, a a low D and then a high D, a little bit out of tune. These uh, just put these strings on here so they're still settling in. This one, this design, this was custom made for a player in Taiwan who wanted a 3D printed electric treble viol. So here it is. It uses, this body is different, but it can use the same body. Um, it's got different tailpiece bridge, neck, everything else is, is pretty different. So the, the gamba is a pretty significant departure from the four string violin, and it's super fun to play. Another thing to note here, it's got traditional tied on gut frets. You could print the frets in, but gamba players are always messing with the frets, so let's, we'll just do this. So that's about it. 
in terms of what the modular fiddle is, you know, again, those main parts, egg box, neck, body. Um, there are other questions too, like what's good for, um, and those are, are bigger questions. I think the short answer to that is it's a great instrument to learn on. It's got excellent playability. Uh, it is quieter than a traditional violin, which if you're performing, maybe isn't what you want. But if you're playing in your house and you've got kids or family or whatever, they might not want you to play your full volume violin. So it's a good second violin or student violin. It's also just a cool thing. Like, it's a cool instrument. It plays way better than you might expect if it's set up right. Uh, and the sound is surprisingly good. So we won't get too much into sound sampling. I just wanted to give you an overview of the instrument and show all these new variations. Uh, and thanks, thanks for watching.